What if the 10 largest cities on Earth by their urban population merge together? For the purpose of this video, let's imagine that this is entirely possible and that we could essentially pick them up and combine them all together. Now, this video is just for fun, so the exact demographics and figures are just rough estimates. So what would this super mega city look like? What would its population be? And how would it fare on the world stage for its economy size and wealth? A mega city is a city with a population of over 10 million people. Now, we have just completely and utterly made up a new term, a super mega city. This is a city with a population of over 100 million. There are, of course, no cities today that are even close to this. Tokyo is the closest, and it is only 40% of the way. However, by the year 2100, it is predicted that a couple of cities will actually be very close to hitting our made-up status. Lagos of Nigeria and Kinshasa of the DR Congo are projected to hit populations of 88.3 and 83.5 million respectively. For reference, that is about the same as the population of the likes of Germany, Turkey or Iran today. So by urban area, Area, the 10 current most populated cities on Earth are as follows. Tokyo, Japan, 39.1 million. Jakarta, Indonesia, 35.3 million. Delhi, India, 31.8 million. Manila of the Philippines, 24 million. New York City of USA, 23.5 million. Sao Paulo, Brazil, 22.5 million. Seoul, South Korea, 22.4 million. Mumbai, India, 22.1. Shanghai of China, also 22.1. And finally, Mexico City of, you guessed it, Mexico, with 21.5 million. So in this list, we have multiple capital cities and multiple financial centers. They are some of the most important and influential cities in the world. So if we were to take one letter from each of these 10 cities and create a new name, we have came up with Talan Samaxo. What's kind of crazy about this list is that China and India, the world's two most populated countries on Earth and by quite some distance, only have three cities on this list. It is worth noting, however, that India has around 48 cities with more than 1 million and China around 105. So if we were to merge these 10 cities, that's two from North America, one from South America and seven from Asia together, they would have a total population of around 265 million. This would place our newly formed country above Pakistan, making it the fifth most populated country on Earth. Talan Samaxo would be a few million behind the fourth most populated country, Indonesia. Now, if we were to combine the total economy sizes of these 10 cities, we would have a total GDP of around $7 trillion. This would make it the third largest economy on the planet. This is around $2 trillion more than what would be fourth place Japan. However, we would be significantly behind second place China by about $13 trillion. And of course, this is if we are not removing these cities from their respective countries. If you were to remove Move Tokyo from Japan, its GDP would drop to around $3 trillion. Now, to calculate how rich the people of our newly formed country are, we can divide our GDP by our population. So that is 7 trillion divided by 265 million, which means if we were to spread out the entire wealth equally, which of course isn't how it works in the real world, each person would have around $26,400, placing our country 58th in the world for GDP per capita. Now, $26,400, means that our made-up country has a similar wealth to that of the people of Chile, Panama, Russia, Croatia and Kazakhstan. Now, 58th in the world seems pretty low to me. But when you look at the list of cities that we are merging together, around half of them are wealthy from developed nations and the other half are from less wealthy countries. Tokyo and New York City are very wealthy and in fact the two richest cities on Earth by GDP. 
almost half of the GDP of these 10 cities comes from these two cities alone. Then you have the likes of Mumbai and Manila, who are both of course mega cities and financial hubs, but significantly poorer than the likes of New York City or Tokyo when looking at GDP per capita. Mumbai and, well, India as a whole has a huge wealth range. It is home to some of the poorest and richest people on the planet. Mumbai is actually home to the most expensive house on the planet. That is if you exclude Buckingham Palace, which of course belongs to the Queen of England. So where would our newly formed country be located geographically? Well, as mentioned earlier, there are two cities from North America, one from South America, and the other seven are from Asia. So if we were to take a rough average of the distance between each of these cities, we think we could place ourselves somewhere to the west of India, perhaps in between India and Oman, or Somalia, in the Arabian Sea. This is actually quite a strategic place to live. We have the Middle East to the west for plenty of sources of oil. Within a few hours flight, we could access most of the world's countries and population. We would be in Asia, but not far from Africa or Europe. The climate would be rather pleasant and we would be a tropical island. The official language of our newly made country would likely be English, as it would be by far the most widely spoken language from these 10 cities. Delhi, Manila, Mumbai, Mexico City and of course New York City would all have millions of English speakers. The tallest building in our newly made country would be the Shanghai Tower from, you guessed it, Shanghai. This tower is actually the third tallest on Earth and measures an incredible 632 meters or over 2,000 feet tall. The largest sports stadium would come from Mexico City. It would be the Estadio Azteca, whose maximum capacity is 87,000. Although we wouldn't take every airport from each of these 10 cities as this would be, well, ridiculous, we would take the airport with the highest volume of passengers. So for this, we would take Tokyo's Haneda Airport, who in 2019, pre-pandemic, saw 85.5 million passengers pass through, the fourth busiest on the planet. So there we have it. If you were to merge the 10 largest cities on Earth by urban area, this is kind of what it would look like.